Earlier this month, Google announced its new high-end phones, the Pixel and the Pixel XL. Taking the place of the Nexus line of phones, the Pixels promise to be a serious challenger to Apple's iPhone. While we know the Pixel phones look similar to the iPhone on the outside, it's our job to show you what they look like on the inside. So let's tear it down. We grab our eye-opener suction cup and pick and get to work on taking off the display. Our first peek inside ignites more mystery as all the inner workings are covered with this bracket and midframe. Before moving on, we take a closer look at this 5.5 inch AMOLED Quad HD display. Due to the super thin components and no frame or bezel behind the display, we were not able to remove it in one piece as the OLED and glass digitizer separated easier than we would have liked. Next, we pop off the midframe to reveal our first real look at the insides of the Pixel XL, including the battery. This 13.28 watt hour battery beats out the 11.1 watt hour battery found in the iPhone 7 Plus and is removed with a new take on the pool tab slash tamper evident seal. It's a 3,450 milliamp hour battery with fast charge that Google claims will give you up to seven hours of use from only 15 minutes of charging. Before we get to the motherboard, we pop off the eight megapixel front facing camera. But even with the camera out of the way, the motherboard is not quite free yet as it's booby trapped by a sneaky cable underneath. With the motherboard released, we're able to disconnect the 12.3 megapixel rear facing camera that has nifty features such as phase and laser detection autofocus and is able to record 4K video at 30 frames per second. Speaking of the motherboard, we're now able to get a closer look at the Pixel XL's chips. Chips of note include the 64-bit quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 that has four gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM, and on the other side of the board, the 32 gigabytes of Samsung-made flash storage. We've got a complete list of chips we've identified on our teardown at ifixit.com. Last to come out of the Pixel XL was the daughter board, which is home to the USB Type-C port and microphone. We've come to the end of our teardown, and now we turn our thoughts towards repairability. How did the Pixel XL score? It got a six out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, many components are modular and can be easily replaced once the display assembly is removed. The battery has a removal tab and is adhered by a modest amount of adhesive, making its removal painless. And all the screws are T5 Torx screws. But on the downside, the opening procedure requires prying up a very thin and poorly supported display assembly, making it extremely difficult to open the phone without damage. In addition to screws, the midframe is secured by snug press fit notches that make its removal and subsequent repairs laborious. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.